Hello, everybody. I wanted to just record myself editing uh, one of my episodes of uh, the Outer Worlds playthrough that I'm doing, just to show you what goes into uh, making one of these. It's not as easy as just, you know, recording the game and, uh, I don't know, transcoding it for YouTube or, or whatever, that there's uh, a lot of steps involved. So uh, I'm just going to get to work, and I'll explain what I'm doing. Obviously, first, uh, just put in uh, your the clips of the game and uh, make a timeline. And the first thing I need to do is um, synchronize the audio with the video because there is a weird glitch uh, sometimes that crops up in um, shadow play recordings, which I hope NVIDIA will fix at some point because it's been around for a while where the audio will desynchronize from the video. And, uh, well, I guess I should start uh, first with the saying, yeah, I use DaVinci Resolve um, to do all of this. I used to use Vegas, which I have done here, and I also used to use Premiere. Um, Resolve seems to work the best with um, with this uh, kind of footage, and it's also it's fast as hell. Like, I'm scrubbing through 4K footage right now, you know, MP4, which isn't the easiest thing to scrub through. I know I have a really fast computer, but, I mean, I can't do this in Premiere for whatever reason, because Premiere sucks. Okay, so let's let's start with uh, the synchronization here. Let's find a, a click or a spike or something in the audio uh, to see if it's out of sync. Let's, like, go back here all the way to the end. Um, and hit play. That was way off. You see that? All this is... All that is way out of sync, uh, so... We have to go back and we have to figure out... Where this all starts. That's pretty out of sync. Let's see if this is out of sync. Yep, that's out of sync. Let's go back a little bit further. Let's try like right here. Let's check this spot out. Nice and smooth. Well, oh, what was that? Okay, let's uh, zoom in. Step back through this real slow. Huh. That's a lot of frames that just seem to... Just, uh, it jumps and then it pauses for a whole bunch. So, let's cut right there. And go forward. Oh, not that much to do. Right here. So, we cut that. And this looks like a big skip right here. See, that's all held on one frame, but the audio uh, does not uh, pause or anything. So everything gets out of sync past this point. And I already know that. I already already did this part, and I deleted it because I just wanted to show uh, what's up. So we unlink those, which makes it so you could select the video separately from the audio. Um, and let's delete those frames and move that over. Let's zoom it back out. And let's go all the way. Well, I think there's another one, so let's let's um, go a little bit further. Right here. Okay, that's insane. That hit happened right as I saw it. Picking up stuff happened right as I saw it. That's good. So where's the next one at? Because I think there might be another one. I think it's around here someplace. I think it's on the other, uh, past the other terminal over here. Okay, I think it's past this guy right here. Well, maybe it's the other one. I know it's past the terminal. 
And I looked at a lot in this one. Okay. Okay. Yeah, this is where it is. So, you can see here, those clicks, those are in sync. Click, click, click. Those are all there. And that was hard to spot, but it was there. Let those thumbnails build for a second. See, we're going forward. And because we're going less than 60 frames per second in this little pan, you can see it holds onto a frame every bit. But that is not correct. So, cut. Oh, derp. Cut the audio too, because when you unlink, uh, the cuts only go through uh, what you have selected or the mouse over. And a good thing to look at when you do this, and I love this game for this, is um, that so many UI elements are animated. There's so many things that are always animated in the frame, so you can um, just focus on looking at one part of the screen. And like um, a good thing to look at is the health bar, which you can see it's always going. And it's a good loop. So unless, unless you have a section that pauses and then resumes at the next part of the loop, it's a pretty good indicator that there's um, a skip there where it uh, screwed up. So let's check this out. Click, click. Okay, so now that part's synchronized. And I'm not going to do any further edits to this little section. Uh, I like to zoom these out all the way like that so I can see that when I load it. And... Um, the next thing um, that I do is I bleh, new timeline from selected clip. Make that timeline one speed, I call it. And this one, and don't mind that I do this. I, I think this is a stupid nitpicky weird computer thing that I do where I don't trust that if a thing's not being used that the program won't not use it, if that makes any sense. So I like to manually tick things off because it ticks me off. Um, so in speed, what I do is I will, I'll scan through the whole clip, look for sections where I go into the inventory and zoom in a little bit. I pick, and right here, I do this very particularly and the same in each, uh, each time I do this is you can see I hit the tab button to go into inventory and it fades. And I usually take that frame right there and I put a cut right there. And then I will go ahead to where I'm done in the inventory. And this one's pretty easy to do too. I wait for the last frame of the blending and then I speed that up a thousand percent. And you can see you get this blue line. And, and the line will be different um, mattering on what timeline you're in. It's, it's different every single time, <laughs> kind of. Um, but that basically means that this right here at the end of the blue line is where the clip, uh, your cut ends is a good way to put it. So you want to drag that clip, go to the end, zoom it all the way in, and then you just want to make sure you're fully... Did I just crash it? I just crashed it. Isn't that fun? I'm leaving that in, by the way. I'll leave that in. That's fine. <laughs> Not necessarily using the most stable version of this program right now. Nah, I just passed it. Nah, fuck you. You're not the best. You're the best. Let me use you. Hmm. There's resolve. Why you do this to me? Okay, let's open back up resolve. <sighs> but yeah, I, I speed up all of the inventory sequences. Um, just to save save on time uh, at each part. 
I only started doing that. I forget what part I started doing that in. I think that was around the same part that I noticed audio sync issues, which might have been like part three or four, or thir 13. I, I forget. Uh, OK, so let's do this again. Run speed. And <laughs> it's a good thing I make a habit of uh, just saving all the time. So let's let that load. Right up there. Zoop. And then. That one. Boom. Do that. Put a save there just in case. As that happens sometimes. Oh, and this happens when you don't let the, the thumbnail cache and load. So let's let that load. Because it doesn't know what it's doing. There you go. There you go. Thank you, thumbnail. There you go. Cut that. And because this is a timeline within a timeline, these are linked. So we don't have that uh, the thing that happened in the first timeline where I was syncing things. And there you go. See, now, now, that's, now that's green. That was blue before. OK, so let's put that down. Save. Do that. And about right here seems to be good. And then you could select the blank spot and hit delete and there you go that goes good stuff right there and I, I leave terminals in because I read along with the terminals you can see me reading with the with the mouse so I, I, I think that's enough time for most people that are watching to also read the terminals so that stays in that doesn't get sped up um, and you could tell inventory sequences pretty easily when you're looking through these because the background. I also do vendors and shops. I'll speed those up. These don't have a blend, I noticed. They just kind of pop, pop right into existence on a frame. That's fine. Fine by me. And I like to be exact with these. I like to be frame exact. Let's save that. And speed 1000. Save again. Bring that right in. Zoom it in. Bring it right out. And then blank spot. Save. And there we go. Save time on that. I gotta level up there, terminal, another sequence. Let's see, there it is. What's my phone telling me? Excuse me. I don't know if you noticed the um, the weird the weird thing that's overlaying on the screen right here. That's um, that's this little system resource monitor thing uh, that I've been using. It's pretty neat. Um, I just have a second source in OBS and I just kind of chroma uh, luma keyed it uh, so it would kind of just blend in. I don't. I think it might be cool to just have there. Okay, what was I doing? I was blending this here. Where's 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 the business? There it is. Let's find that frame. The last blend frame right right here. It's funny when you when you're seeing um these scenes load in frame by frame. I don't know, this is just a funny thing to me, I guess. As uh, um like normal pose. Normal pose. Physics only kinda half kicks in. Let me zoom in. Like a scarf or ascot, whatever the hell that's called, just kind of zoop, and then it's fine. Yeah, it's just funny to me. Little jank personality, I guess. That's not that long. 
Stop playing with me. Thumbnails. There you go. Mm, come on, thumbnails. Thank you. There you go. That one's in. Save it. One thousand. Go back. Look right here. And save it. Where will it be? Wait, that seems wrong. Ah, that seems better. Can I go one more? No, nope, that was right there. Okay. There you go. That one's a thousand sped up. And uh, do we have any more? We do. I did an experiment early, early this morning, trying to do this with um, with Premiere, and it was a disaster. I don't, I don't know the how um, Premiere handles um, shadow play clips, but I've always noticed that it doesn't know how to handle them. And I think I know why. Pretty sure I know why it does that. And I'll show you in a second here. Bring that down, zoom it in. Boop, boop, boop. Nope, we could go right here. That works. Okay. And why I think Premiere has issues is when you look at the media info for um, one of these from Shadowplay, you will notice this right here. Variable frame rate. It's it's on you know 59940, which is 60 frames per second basically. But I I guess for encoding efficiency or something, the frame rate is variable to the game's frame rate. I guess maybe. Uh, yeah, I, I don't know. And there's also other weirdness in the way they encode. For some reason, the standards PAL. I'm not really sure why. The color primaries seem to don't make any sense. 601 and TSC. I, that's... It, it's not right. Uh, this, none of this is right. Right here. I mean, maybe limited uh, is okay. But none of that's right. I don't know what they're doing, and I think this totally confuses Premiere and makes um, just just makes synchronizing the audio close to impossible. They need to fix that. Either Adobe does because I mean, you know, Resolve figured it out, or um, Nvidia needs to figure out how to properly encode MP4 files because you know that would be nice. And luckily, only Shadowplay does this. If you use OBS to record, which is inferior in some ways to just using Shadowplay, you don't have any of those issues. They don't exist. But the way NVIDIA does it, they exist. There you go. No, I'm gonna have to cut out a death, aren't I? Yes, I cut out the deaths from uh, my gameplay because no one wants to see a death. Yeah, even though this is so short, I'm still gonna do it. What's that back there? Oh, nothing. Just thumbnail being very confused. There we go. And speed it up. Hmm. 
reason I moved the playhead away from uh, where I'm moving is because the snap to playhead thing. I don't feel like disabling it just when I do that. So I just moved the playhead away. It's just easier. Uh, it doesn't look like there's any more. Okay. Bring it all the way back. And zoom it out. There you go. Now that's that's sped up and synchronized. And basically I do this over like if, if I have multiple videos, which I'm I'm starting to do, like I'll save a whole lot while I'm playing playing the game, and I will stop the recording and start the recording at certain spots just so um to minimize on on the synchronization issues. So there, I, I just have to edit a whole bunch of smaller, smaller, I say that, and that's 38 minutes long in itself. But yeah, um, and yeah, you, you could see, you, you could see here just from the, the sync and the speed, uh, speeding up those sections brought that 38, uh, 38, 3807 down to 3205.49, which, uh, you know, over, over time, that's a lot. And also, uh, you know, I'm, I'm, uh, you also do um, create new timeline, and I do this. I have the final timeline in which I put the speed timeline whoop, right there, and do the same thing I always do because I'm weird. And this is where I will cut like this part out uh, in the beginning. Get that down to the down to the frame right there. So cut out the intro, let the thumbnail build, go back. And I also cut out the um, the deaths and then I'll splice those together uh, in the final timeline like this. And this is where I'll put all of the the time, you know, speed versions of the timelines after I do the, you know, sync to, to each clip. Um, Hope this was kind of enlightening. Hope I didn't ramble too much. Um, yeah, see ya.